grandpa going to be finished working in his laboratory? The sound of that machinery is making me nervous. Now, you're just on edge because you haven't been getting much sleep lately. You should be turning it off soon. It's getting pretty late. By the way, what time is it? Ah, at home, it'll be later than you think. Never more. I had no idea it was that late. Where's Marilyn? I'm glad to be able to say she finally got a date tonight. Oh. Well, isn't that nice? Where did she go? Oh, they went to the movie, and then they're going for a walk in the park. In the, the park? park? Eddie, how could you let Marilyn go to the park with that monster running around? But you said there was no such thing as monsters. Oh, Herman, what are we going to do? Well, I guess someone will have to go to the park and protect her. I'll get my coat. No. Lily, I'll go alone. Oh, you, you can't go out there alone. Why don't you take Spot with you? Ha! Spot's afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't blame him. Chief Harris will be right out, Commissioner. But what's taking him so long in there? He didn't confide in me, sir. All he said he was working on some kind of a secret weapon. Huh. I guess he's ready. You can go in now, sir. Oh, hello, Commissioner. Come in. It's me. Why couldn't I have been a fireman like my mother wanted me to? Pancakes. You've had quite enough, Grandpa. The rest are for Herman. After what he went through last night, he deserves them. Sure, sure. Herman always gets everything. Lucky stick. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Morning, Herman. Morning, dear. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Yes, dear? I want to apologize again for causing you all so much worry. Oh, that's all right, dear. As I told you last night, I wasn't hurt at all. Fact is, we came right home after the movie. We never went near the park at all. I'm glad you didn't. It was terrible. I've never had a more hair-raising experience. And if you think my hair was raised, you should have seen the hair on the bald-headed lady. <laughs> Herman, I've told you a hundred million times, don't exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating. It really happened. No. Maybe there's something about it in the paper. <laughs> you were right, Aunt Lily. Here it is. It says, last night, the police apprehended the so-called monster that has been terrorizing Mid-City Park. 
The monster was a known purse snatcher who disguised his features by wearing a woman's stocking over his head. See? I told you there was no such thing as monsters. Credit for his capture goes to Police Chief Harris, who used himself as bait by disguising himself as a woman. Well, I guess that explains your bald-headed lady. <laughs> He was heroically assisted by an unknown citizen who has modestly refused to come forward and reveal his identity. Gee, Dad. Weren't you scared? Well, a little bit. But remember this, Eddie. It's the duty of every citizen to protect the police. According to the newspaper, Chief Harris is getting a medal from the police commissioner at this very moment. Harris, I must admit that in the past I've been a little leery about your, uh, well, to say the least, eccentric behavior. But uh, I must say you do seem to get things done. Well, thank you, sir. Tell me, Harris, do you have any idea who this citizen was who came to your assistance? Well, I don't know his name, sir, but I think I could describe him. Oh? What did he look like? Well, he was about nine or ten feet tall, with green skin, uh, red eyes, and long arms. 